Meryl Streep feast tonight. <laughs> Hide your children and hang a bow, a fresh rosemary over your door. Streep season is upon us. From West Hollywood, California, the only news team that doesn't know what's on the teleprompter before they read it. Anyone who laughs or breaks loses points. This is Breaking News. I'm Scrum Tudor Scoots. And I'm Danny Warbox. No relation. Teens. They're America's largest children. But could they also be the dumbest? Only months after satisfying their hunger for Tide Pods, <laughs> teens have started a new dangerous fad. Taking shits while standing up. That's right. No squatting or bending or anything. Just standing perfectly straight and squeezing out a turd. It's called an coltering because your butthole is unbelievably tight. You spew shit everywhere, and when you're done, everyone hates you. Though some doctors say Ann Coltering is physically impossible, others say no, I bet I could do it. Then everyone just sort of imagines how that whole thing would even work. Despite these warnings from the medical community, hundreds of teens have attempted the Ann Coulter challenge to the detriment of bathrooms everywhere. Asked about how the phenomenon has affected his bathroom, one Starbucks manager in Brooklyn said, I have seen no difference. This Disturbing stuff, Scrum. Yes, 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 yes. While YouTube has promised to remove all videos of lock kneed teens dropping a deuce, more go up every day as people hear about the challenge and say, hey, yeah, what would that look like? And more importantly, what would it feel like? Enticing questions to be sure. And now for entertainment news, we go to Chunch Cucumbers. Chunch? Thanks, Scrum. If you're a fan of the Transformers movie, you're shit out of luck because I'm gonna talk about Call Me By Your Name. Big news for the peach that got fucked by Timothy Chalamet. This lovable bundle of juice is set to star in the remake of American Pie 2 in the role of the pie. That's right, they're only remaking the second one. Also, Streep alert, Streep alert, Meryl Streep feast tonight. <laughs> Hide your children and hang a bow, a fresh ro rosemary over your door. Streep season is upon us. Streep will feast on the bones of the unworthy. Fear and glory to Streep. Finally, it's pilot season and America can't wait to see what piece of shit is only going to last one month. The top contender this year is a show where detec a detective solves crimes, but is also something else, like a werewolf or a time traveler or a man with a perfect memory or something. But. The greatest mystery is the one that he is closest to, like the murder of a family member. He could also be a licensed psychiatrist or a dog walker, or maybe he just has a mental illness. Yes, it seems like America is always ready to tolerate a show about a detective who is also one other thing, but only for about a month. I'm sorry, Chunch, I'm gonna have to interrupt you. We're getting some breaking news from the mall. We go live to our man in the street, Twink Marmalade. Tell us what you're seeing, Twink. Chaos, Scrum, utter chaos. Starbucks is releasing seven new drinks and people are rioting. What sort of new drinks are we talking about here, Twink? Oh, you better believe I'm gonna list them. Please do. Nothing would make me personally happier right now than to hear you list a couple of new Starbucks flavors. Then buckle up, Danny, because here I go. We've got the Caramel Fisted Bambino, the Blumpkin Spice Latte, the burnt dinner coffee poured by brassy waitress who calls you hun, bread and gravy mocha, salted chapstick macchiato, a cup full of bones, <laughs> and something just called Jeremy. Yum, I can't wait to pour some Jeremy down my throat. Then get down here, Scrum, and enjoy a popping hot venti Jeremy while you still can. <laughs> we will. Thanks, Twink. Thank you, Danny. No, mm. thank you. Okay. Well, that's all the time we have. To all our viewers at home, good night or good luck. And an extra special congratulations to our employee of the week this week. We aren't supposed to laugh or smile and this person really beefed it the most. Congrats to Allie. What? Thank you. Hi, it's Mike Trapp from College Humor. Click here to subscribe, click here for more fun things, and send help to keep me from sinking. Please, please help, please help.